Good morning, everyone. This is Magda Castaneda from Utopia Health Career Center, and I am here this morning because I want to talk to you about a fistula. What's a fistula? The topic of this Facebook Live is, what is a fistula anyways? So uh, we are promoting our hemodialysis program, training program. We have a new class starting now on June 26th. It's the class, it's only two days during the week, it's Monday and Wednesdays, and it's a training, it's a training uh, class where we prepare people to start work, to, to pass the certification test for hemodialysis technicians and start working as a hemodialysis technician in a dialysis center. We also train nurses, so established nurses that want to change specialties, we also do that. We train nurses so that they can prepare to take their certification in hemodialysis. So uh, today is going to be a short little uh, topic that I wanted to cover. And many people hear about fistulas. They hear about fistulas and dialysis, and they really don't know exactly what it is. Um, and for those of you that already know, for example, if you're looking at this and you are a hemodialysis technician already and you want to kind of refresh a little bit of what you've uh, learned in the past or if you're due for your certification, that's another thing we're promoting a review for hemodialysis technician um, certification. Uh, so, so this little small Facebook Live class might be for you. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be probably like five to ten minutes I'm going to be here talking with you guys. And first, I'm going to I'm gonna draw on my board what is how the fistula is made. Okay, so first of all, fistulas in dialysis are done for people that need dialysis, that need the treatment, and we need to access their blood. Okay, remember, dialysis is a treatment that's given to people that their kidneys don't work. Okay, their kidneys don't work and they need this treatment so that they can continue to live. So this is how I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to draw a connection. We're gonna have the fistula is one part artery and then the other part is a vein. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn around for a minute and explain, try to draw here what a fistula is. <clears throat> so one, one part is gonna be the artery so let's say this red part is going to be the artery, and it's a big, bigger vessel, okay? So it looks like this, it's big. And then the other part is going to be connected to a vein. So I'm going to draw the vein in blue. So, and the vein is going to be slightly smaller than the arteries, okay? So that's how the nature of our body is. Arteries are going to be deep and big, Veins are going to be smaller and they are a little bit more superficial for easy access. So we're going to access the vein, but we need the vein as big as the artery because we're going to connect this patient using two needles to a machine. And that vein that we're using should be a big vein. So that's why we connect it to an artery. And when I say we, it's not we like myself. <laughs> It's a surgeon, so they go to sur they go into surgery to have this done. But this is basically how the connection is made. It's so soon together here, okay? And that connection over there, and I'm going to pull this closer so that you guys can see, okay? That connection here is called the anastomosis. Okay, it's called the anastomosis, okay? So when we stick, we stick this area over here. So this area would be, this would be the vein, and this part would be the artery, okay? So we only stick the vein, we do not stick the artery, okay? So in the vein, the vein is divided in two different areas. So we have this area here, which would be the arterial side of the vein. Arterial. And this side over here 
would be the Venus part of the vein. Venus, okay? So when we stick, we have to use two needles. One is going here in this area, in the arterial area. That In that area, everything is stronger. The flow of the blood is stronger, okay? In this area, the flow of the blood, the blood is not as strong as on as it is on the arterial side, okay? So we're gonna place two needles. So for example, we're gonna have one needle that's going here in this area, one needle here, and then we're gonna have another needle going here, okay? So that's two needles. One of the needles is gonna pull the blood, and the other one is going to push the blood back into the patient after it is cleaned, okay? There are a couple of complications with a fistula, and I'm just gonna talk about two right now, because since this is like a short little class that I'm trying to give you so that you understand better what a fistula is, there are two main complications with a fistula, and that is stenosis. I'm gonna write that down for you. It's the stenosis. And also, the other complication will be an aneurysm. Okay? And I'm going to talk about them really quick right now. So let me erase a little bit so that it's a little bit more clear. So I'm going to erase this. Okay. So again... We have, we have our artery, and then we have our vein. We have our vein. And then remember that this right here is the anastomosis. Okay. So let's talk about the stenosis, which is the first one. Stenosis. Stenosis is a narrowing of the vein. So for example, <clears throat> let me get my eraser. So if the vein does this, if the vein does this, that it collapses or it, it just becomes very narrow in a certain point, that is called a stenosis. Okay? And when we have that stenosis, it's going, to be, it's going to be a little difficult to run the machine and dialyze this patient. So we have to refer this patient to like a vascular access center, and they're going to have this fixed, okay? They're going to have this fixed. Now, the other complication that I'm talking about is the aneurysm. An aneurysm is this. So when it balloons, it's an aneurysm. So when it's narrowed, it's a stenosis. When it balloons, it's an aneurysm. And this can be quite dangerous because if we stick an aneurysm and it ruptures, this patient can bleed out to death. So I'm going to show you real quick pictures of a aneurysm. So that would be an aneurysm right there, right there. That's an aneurysm. I'm sorry, I'm looking at it backwards. <laughs> and this is also aneurysms, okay? So that is when the vein balloons like this. Another thing that I wanted to show you is the needles that we use. There are different size needles, and I have them right here. And these are the needles that we use for dialysis. So I'm just going to let you, I'm going to show them to you. So this needle right here is going to be the 17 gauge needle, 17 gauge needle. Okay. So in this case, the bigger the number, the smaller the needle. That's the 17. This one is, oops, here. This one is the 16, okay, 16. 
16. Look at it. Okay. And then this one would be the 15 gauge needle. 15 gauge needle. Oops. I'm trying to make it straight. There we go. And these are all sharp needles, and these needles go into the fistula. So we put them, we place them inside of the fistula. Okay, so now I'm going to put them all together so that you can compare them in terms of sizes, okay? So here we have all three together. Let me see, like this. Let me see if I can come closer. There we go. So this one, whoops. This one is the 17. The one in the middle, this this one, this one is the 16. And then this one is the 15, this one. Okay? Now, these are sharp needles, sharp needles. So if I do like this, if I tap on them, I'm going to get cut. But there's another type of needle, and this is the blunt needle, okay? So, for example, this is the size of that needle, okay? And this one is the blunt needle, so if I tap on it, it's not going to cut. It's not going to cut, see? It's not going to cut. So, it's almost like when you place an earring... Okay, so that this is used for something that we call the buttonhole. So that topic is a little longer and it's something that I'm, you know, it's going to be difficult for me to explain here. I, I go over, we go over this, me and the instructors go over this uh, during our class here at Utopia Health Career Center. So if you want a little bit more information about our hemodialysis training program, please go ahead and visit our website. Or you can send us an email to info at utopiahcc.com. Or you can also call us at 407-962-0299. So I hope you like it and see you on the next video live. Bye.